What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Urban Monkey. This week, we're in sunny Scarborough. Let's go. Hi guys, so we're nearly at Scarborough. We're about 20 minutes out. So, can't wait. We'll start the weekend again. <laughs> take two. Take, take two. No, we're looking forward to it. We're going to uh, probably park up on the seafront and we've got some steak and noodles and other stuff we're going to cook chicken. up. Chicken. Some chicken as well. A bottle of wine. And always a bottle of wine. So, uh, yeah, see you when we get there, guys. Stay tuned. So we're just walking along the seafront. The main, the main seafront around where all the arcades are and the R&I and, I and uh, with all the bars. Man, that was absolutely packed. On it, Lou. Who chocker? So we're just gonna have a walk down here, guys, and then uh, probably find somewhere for a slurp, as usual, standard. Um, a cocktail. Cocktail. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Um, and then we're gonna cook something nice in the van. Chill out. <laughs> I just picked up a few supplies. Lily's bought a nice little fancy beach bag. Let's have a look at your bag, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> and the excuse for another bag. I like this bag, yeah. It's a holiday bag. Ah, so, back to the van, cooking the van. I'm starving. Then we'll probably have a walk around later. Look at these jet skis here, man. I want a jet ski now. <laughs> that fluorescent yellow and black one is absolutely rapid. They were flying across this bay earlier. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, I love Scarborough. Do you? Oh, it's an easy weekend. It's easy weekend in the van. Just park up on the seafront. Bosha! So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, guys. What the, some of the supplies we've got in the shop. We've got some cake mix. Chocolate. Oh. Brownie cake mix. Not even prepared. Just absolutely wigging it. Bought what we need from there. I hope we've got some stuff in the van we can cook it. So when we've done his tea, and try and cook some chocolate brownies in his uni oven in the van. <laughs> do you think they're going to turn out? I got some lattes and cappuccinos. <laughs> so Lily, my cake. Lily's thinking these aren't coffee going to be very good at no, all. Coffee and cake, I was thinking. I was all, coffee and cake? No, huh? I was full on, they're going to be awesome, Ren. You promised me cake. Let's see what they turn out like then. We don't know. Hi. One more? It's the last um, stone. Right, we were planting this one then. Oh, not far. The last one we've got. Chloe, you're going to have to do it some more. <laughs> we've run out of stones. Little, little, flip the page, give us some more. Getting out of my way I was hiding Bulletproof Forever waiting Then came you I thought I was What I've been told I thought I was I thought I was What I've been told I thought I was I was picking up the pieces of yesteryear's life in over my head trying to figure out I was going through changes where to begin 
When a mountain moving revelation came marching in I thought I was what I been told I thought I was Right, let's sort the van, get cooking. I'm starving. But first thing, roof up. Yeah, boy! Yes, Luli. Woo. So guys, we're just getting set up. The roof is up. So that gives us all the extra storage, um, especially why it's dry when it's not raining. You can store all your bags and stuff up there. This was a full snatch and grab episode of so we've got a bit of salad, we've got a bit of pasta salad, we've got some Greek cheese, some nice feta, some chicken and some beef steaks. More chestnuts. I always, I, you can't buy them anymore though, it needs to be Christmas again. I love they chestnuts. They are my absolute favourite. They're awesome for I the van, I stock buy they? them, you stock eat them. <laughs> <laughs> we love the chestnuts in the van. What's this we've got here, Lou? It's a rhubarb gin fizz. I don't know, I've never tried it before. I just saw it in the shop, it's cold, and everything else we've got wasn't cold. Stand by, we're going to cook some of this up. Um, and then, once we've eaten this, we're going to try our chocolate brownie. <laughs> See what they turn out like. But the sun is shining now, lad. Look at this, the wind's dropped off. Careful I don't knock the table over. The sun's come out a little bit. So when it quietens down later, we'll probably park sideways on, sliding door that way. Look at that for a view. Um, and then we can have his sausage and bacon here. Hopefully it's sunny enough to sit outside. Then we'll have walking time for a coffee. And Lily wants to go on the jet boats, seeing as we broke on yesterday. So I promised her to go on the jet boat. Jet boats tomorrow, seeing as I broke ours. And crabbing. And crabbing. Do this, you need to do it. I just said I promised you. You'll be editing it and taking all, take this out, I'm not taking jet boats anymore. No, I will. We got fire, baby! <laughs> oh, steady, Eddie. Chicken going on. I'm going to cut a steak up. Let them cook off. Taking them back out of the pan. And then, from the juices of the meat, add a bit of water and some of the noodles. Cook them through, they put the meat back in to warm through. Sounds like a plan, so let's get on with it. First up, chicken's on then. Cut the steaks. Yeah, boy! I've nicely, very thinly, nicely cut. Thinly, nicely? Thinly. You do everything, don't you, babe? Because you're just doing everything. Look at me sat here doing nothing like this. Twiddling my thumbs, and there's you nicely, lovely, doing everything. <laughs> I don't know where we'll be without you. Anyway, what did you do? So, I cut the. Luan put it all out. Luan gave the instructions. No, what instructions? What We're winging mean? this, there's no instructions. And every time I say an idea, you go, well, I don't have to give it back my way. No, it's not better your way. So we're doing it my way. So, thinly, let's get back to the plan. Thinly, <laughs> thinly chopped, thinly, thinly sliced the beef. You've lost the train of thought now. Thinly sliced the beef. We've added that to the chicken. We've cooked that with some sweet chilli jam, salt and pepper. Chilli seeds. And some chilli seeds. So that's just slowly cooking through there, look guys. And then the plan is to take that off the heat, put the noodles on, cook the tomatoes through. Um, what yeah. is the plan, babe? That is the plan. What? Oh, that is the plan. The plan has got no plan. Yes, <laughs> the plan is no plan. I love that saying. I'm going to eat it yet. Try it. Oh. How nice does that meat look? So we've left it slightly on the raw side. Well not the rear side, not raw. Rear on the beef. The I chicken's like cooked it. through. Like the beef is rear. So then when we cook it through it just should be just perfect. I'm trying to keep the juice in this one. 
Is it cold water? Yeah. So we're going to add some water to this, deglaze the pan, and add our noodles, and then add that back to that. So the meat is resting. I keep eating it. Lula keeps eating it. I'm hungry. <laughs> So the noodles are on there, look. Lily's Instagramming. So they're cooking through in some water and the beef juices and the bit of powder they come with. The food is done. Oh, look at this. Woo -hoo. That beef looks so tender. Mm. Noodles are under there. Smell the feta cheese in. Just gonna serve it up like a... Cowboy dinner. <laughs> yeah. Chinese noodles in the van, Lily. <laughs> so we got this from the shop as you know <laughs> looks like a proper quality product <laughs> betty Hall cooker halloween halloween Cooked betty Irish. cooker so we've mixed it up we're not sure how these are going to turn out guys because it said vegetable oil and when i was in the shop i said to Luana, it got very spoiled she goes yeah 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 right. so then we've got olive oil so it might taste a bit weird but we're getting his cake mix. <laughs> we'll get it in the uni oven. See what it's like. So the cake mix is going in a little uni oven. Omni oven. Is it Omni? Omni. I always get, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uni oven is the pizza. So this is the Omni oven. So guys, we're spicing them up. I don't know if this will work or we're dropping these little Twix bits. <laughs> Chocolate enough. Not chocolate enough. I oh, thought he might get rid of the olive oil twang. <laughs> <laughs> so the cake's in the uni oven. So it's, the cake mix is under there. And that's like a, another ring. So you put that on top. So then the idea is that pushes heat up through the middle of the donut ring. Circulates it all around. So you've got heat from up the middle, sides, and then comes over the top to make your little oven. Two hours later. What do you think? It smells nice. It smells nice, guys. It just took forever. I don't know if we had it on too low for too long. You turned up and it smelled like it was burning straight away. Yeah, but then I don't know if it was just the silica mould to stop things burning, burn, you know, smelling. We'll see. Well, it's quite good though. it will be fine with custard on, with <laughs> So I think he's worked quite well, do you, Lua? Sorry, cutting out a shot here. I, mean, I, think... I was eating mine, I was having a drink. Yeah, it's nice. So this is Chocolate with the custard on. For those of you seeing, saying, oh, like, oh, there's no steam coming off that custard, yes. I prefer cold custard. Definitely. <laughs> that has made a really nice chocolate brownie cake in the uni oven in the van success yeah boy <laughs> i'm actually really impressed with that uh, we've not really used the uni oven much um only for a few different things like warming bread up and stuff so it's the first time we've baked in it but yeah i'm impressed with that it's a bit of a faff i don't know how we're going to clean that I think it's going to be when we do that at home, I think. <laughs> I'm not even attempting that in, man. It's a bit messy, look. Mes mixing jugs full of cake mixing. But it's a good laugh. Try it in the van. Post some pictures if you try it on his Facebook page. Love to know how you guys get on. Let me know in the comments if you've used the uni oven much. Um, and let me know some recipes and what you reckon to it. Cheers, guys. Morning, morning. What a beautiful morning at that as well. Lily's just doing her teeth. Look at the state of this van, guys. We've got all the washing. It's not all like, when you're going away in these little vans, it's not all like glamorous and like Instagram perfect. It's used, look. Stuff everywhere, rubbish bags, lights. <laughs> but look where we are. Epic. There's the sea. Yes. Breakfast is done. Look at this. So I managed to do some lovely poached eggs in this little uh, omelette pan. Look how they've turned out. 
One just burst slightly, but getting it out. Sausage and bacon, some brioche buns. Oh yes! And then definitely walk into town and see about the jet boats. Epic Lulu. Eggs were just nearly a perfection. One just went a bit, but look at that. Yes, Luli. <laughs> so I just thought I'd take the one wheel a blast. Um, around the Scarborough seafront. It's awesome for it on here. Epic. So, big shout out to Freddie Battersby. He found one of our rocks at um, the waterfront inn at West Stockworth yesterday. So, hope you and your family have a good weekend, mate. And also, Rachel, you found a rock just over there, and we'll post your little picture up. Please keep all your hide, and the free stickers are on the way to you guys. Yeah! So there's been one or two uh, camping out down here this last night with us. How cool is that? Oh, that's a nice one. That is nice. Little bit, little hands are going to be spitting feathers, man. <laughs> Have we got ages? I just got carried away. It was just so epic just to ride down there, just like blitzing away. I only meant to be going just to do a quick transition and do a shout out for the rock finding guys for Rachel and Freddie, but <laughs> been gone ages, mate. First person to recognise us <laughs> from YouTube, this little kid here. He's just shouting from over I know him, I know them, they're YouTubers. I recognise <laughs> the channel. Class. Hey, oh, buddy. <laughs> well done, nice one. What's your name? Uh, Ronnie. Ronnie, nice one, Ronnie. <laughs> He's on. That's it from this episode at Sunny Scarborough. See you guys next time.